Major Robert T. Murphy was a legend and a hero. He accomplished much during his time in the U.S. Marine Corps, but many of his stories were hard to believe, partly because you just don't hear of many war heroes these days, and because he was institutionalized after the war on account of 12 mental conditions. But we're here today to try and remember his accomplishments and forget about how he went bonkers. Here I have a bit of an autobiography that was written by Major Murphy in the last few years of his life, in which he talks about his major accomplishments during the war. And I'd like to share a bit of it with you today. Um, excuse me. Oh, did you want a piece? No, I was I was just wondering if you could tell us who you are. I've never seen you before in my life. Oh, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Way back in May of 1967, I remember one day I was trying to sleep in, but at 10 a.m. a shell hit right next to my head. I was pissed, so I sprang up out of bed, ripped the shrapnel out of the back of my neck, grabbed an M16, shot at least 900 reds, ending the battle in under 15 minutes. And then I finally got to go back to sleep. I fought in that war, and it wasn't anything like that! Yeah, well maybe all that Agent Orange fucked with your brain. Think about it. Oh, let's see, here's a good one. In the summer of 71, I was on a top secret mission in Nebraska where NORAD spotted some hostile extraterrestrials landing. I got over there just in time. Thousands of ferocious creatures with ginormous boobs came running out of their flying saucer, and I killed them all with my hunting knife. Luckily, nobody saw what happened. Hey, look, we even drew pictures. Look out, Da Vinci! Who the hell is this guy? Dude, this is a funeral, man. Just chill and have some respect. Hey, yo, man, what's up? No, oh, I paid you Thursday. Are you high right now? Somebody need to do something about this guy. I'm not going up there. You do it. Yes, man, I gotta go. I'm doing this whole funeral thing, okay? Peace. November of 1972 was one of my most memorable times in the military. Genghis Khan was trying to regain power by resurrecting an army of zombie warriors. Suddenly a vortex opened and some cyborgs sent from the future flew out of it. I led them to victory in a 50 foot tall robot that bore some resemblance to Tony Danza. Who's the boss? That is enough! We all know that none of this really happened! You are a sick person! We can fly over to see Spanish's abilities! Now, I think we should all have a moment of silence. Well, that's the last of them. Hope nobody saw that. Hey, were, were there just a bunch of aliens running around here just now? Nope. Okay. <laughs>